Hello ladies and gentlemen, uh, my name is Mark, uh, today I'm going to be playing a bit of Fahrenheit, also known as Indigo Prophecy, this is the uh, remastered version, um, so I thought I'd let you guys all join in and, and watch me and be a part of my movie, so let's see how it goes. Um, I think I need the tutorial, I don't think you guys want to watch me play through that, so we'll see how this goes. So I really enjoyed playing Heavy Rain on the PS4 and I believe this is meant to be maybe written or done by the same people that things done that are never a quite long what they time seem. Ago. We think we understand the world around us but we really only see the outside what it seems to be. Seems like quite a deep game. I used to be just like you. I believed in humanity, the newspapers, soap commercials, politics and history books. But one day, the world kicks you in the teeth, and you don't have any choice but to see things the way they really are. Okay. My name is Lucas Kane. Well, he's My story is the him. one where an ordinary guy so, has something extraordinary so happen to him. Maybe it was supposed to happen. Maybe it was my destiny or my karma or whatever. I know one thing for sure. Nothing's ever going to be the same again. Bandaged up, he looks enough. Bad situation. This looks quite deep. It all started right here. Feel cold. Where else could it happen? New York, capital of the universe. The chessboard destiny chose for the last big game. I was just another pawn living my pawn's life. Until that night. My life descended into chaos. Chaos. It's going to be a hard life for him by the sound of it. work right now for me. Okay, yeah, so he had no idea what he was just doing just then. What? What, what have I done? Right, so a dead body. I, 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 
didn't want. It was like a dream. Quick. I, I've, I've got to get out of here before somebody comes in here. Okay. Um, let's, let's, let's get rid of the body. Knife. I've got to get rid of it. It's barred up. I can't get out this way. goes anywhere. A crime has just been committed. Oh, that was I'm going to have to ask you to stay that calm and intense. wait here for the police to arrive and check your ID. Does he care with the glass out of that? That looked very ominous. Okay, so the mind bumblebee right there. Dog's diner. Seems That's it. Ahead. Why do they always wait for me to go on oh, duty before they start killing now, each other in the middle of the night? Tyler, somebody gets murdered every day in New York. But especially when I'm on night duty. It's as if every psycho in the city has it in for me. If you want a bitch, do it inside. That way I don't have to freeze to death listening to it. <laughs> You're the boss, Carla. Hell yeah, she's the boss. In five years on the force, I've seen some murders. But you never really get used to death. You just learn to live with it, that's all. Five I still years don't know if force. it was fatigue, or cold, or something else. But I clearly remember the bad feeling I got when I walked into that restaurant. As if some part of me already knew that this time, something was different. 
different. Yeah, this wasn't just murder, this was super intense murder. How's it going, McCarthy? Evening, Inspector. I've been waiting for you. Hey, Tyler. Hey, Martin. So, what He'll happened? Say, be like, Yo. Homicide. I Fist found bomb. the body in the toilet. Boom. I had to go before I went home. What were you doing here? Were you on duty? I wasn't. I just happened to be here when the murder happened. I want to. I like donuts. to come by here after work. Kate's coffee is the best in the East End. Do we have a suspect? A client left just before I found the body. To top it all, he left without paying. Kate tried to talk to him, then he left. How was the victim killed? With a blade, from what I could gather. But we should wait for the autopsy. Yeah, because it could have been anything else. Is the body still there? The boys from the morgue were waiting for you to get here before moving it. Nobody's been in the toilet since we found the body. Which table was the suspect sitting at? Oh, he was sitting at that table over there. Is that the waitress over there? Yeah, Kate Morrison. I think that you should interrogate her. If you don't mind yeah. me saying, go easy on her, Inspector. No, She's still in a state of shock. Easy. Thanks for your help, Martin. It's late. I think you can go home and get some sleep. I'm gonna wait until you're finished with Kate, if you don't mind. I want to make sure she gets home okay. Kate? I'm Inspector Carla Valenti. I'm in charge of the investigation here. Would you mind answering a few questions? Not the boss. No. Go ahead. Have you been working here long, Kate? He's been slowly. It'll be 11 years next month. I've seen all sorts in this place. Down and outers, junkies, you name it. The till's been robbed a few times, but murder? That's a new one. She's hardcore. Poor Johnny was such a nice guy. Did you know the victim well? John was a regular. He came every Monday. He's always a regular. He always ordered the same thing and I left a nice tip. Could anyone else have come in? No, uh, I don't think so. You can only get in the front door. If somebody else had come in, I would have seen them. What was the man doing before the murder happened? He was there for a while. He was reading, I think. Reading. Was John here alone? Did he speak with anyone? John always came alone. We chatted a bit. The weather, his job. She, she loved him. Usual stuff. He never talked to anybody Don't else. Going on there. Do you know whether the victim had any enemies? Anybody that might want to kill him? John was just a nice, normal guy. I can't see why anybody would want to kill him. Did you hear anything while John was in the toilets? Sound of a struggle or yelling? No, I didn't notice anything. Shh, pay attention. Can you tell me what you saw? There weren't that many people tonight. It's usually pretty calm during the week. I was just chatting with Martin at the bar. I didn't even see John get up. Oh my God. You have to try to be strong, Kate. I know that this has been a shock for you, but you're the only one who can help us find the suspect. My shift was almost over. I was just chatting with Martin at the bar. John got up and went to the restroom. The man must have followed him. When he came back out, I noticed that he hadn't paid his bill. I'm careful. Because that happens a lot here, people yeah. forgetting to pay their bill. What happened next? Absolutely. The guy just ran off without paying. It wasn't until Martin found John's body that I realized... Did you happen to notice anything strange about John tonight? Did he seem worried or stressed out? No. He was just like he always is. He even made a joke when he came in. Do you think that you would recognize the suspect? I'll never trying. forget that face. Perfect. Do you think that you could come down to the station tomorrow and help us construct a likeness of the killer? Yeah. 
I'll do whatever you think I can to help catch him. Again, what a lot. Thank you very much for your help, Kate. Thanks, Kate. Cheers. I hope you find the bastard who did it. People well, like that just don't deserve to live. Acceptable. I promise you, we'll do everything in our power to find him. Go home now and try to get some sleep. Martin will make sure you get home okay. Good on my chat. Stand, stand up for that. She's a. It's not what she wants, is on a night shift. She just wants to get home. Good night. Good night. Okay, you know, because that's what's important right now. Mm. Why is there blood here? Did you find anything? Possibly. I don't understand why there would be blood here. Maybe it belongs to the victim. Not likely. Get Garrett to analyze it, then we'll know for sure. Blood on the mop. The killer must have used it to clean up the mess. Did I? Why would he risk getting caught? I don't know. Do I that? did. Shh. Keep it secret. Keep it safe. No trace of a struggle. The controls are. Looks like the guy was taken totally by surprise. Several wounds on the left side of the chest, in the area of the heart. They appear to be knife wounds. Okay. I didn't use a knife. Stand up, boy. Do you know if anyone has contacted the family? Not as far as I know. Tyler! What? This is a restroom, isn't it? No. This is a crime scene. It's, it's cool. Different. I'm done. Must be all that coffee I've been drinking to try and stay awake. When well, you gotta go, you gotta go. My goatee. Got a good goatee. Hey, I think there's some blood in the sink. Maybe the killer washed up before he left. Yeah, could be. Yeah, I haven't got gloves on my hands. Just what exactly are you doing, Tyler? I'm checking for clues. What do you think? What does it look like on Penny? Hmm. Bizarre. What? Well, he still has his credit card and a hundred bucks in cash on him. I guess the killer wasn't after his money. money. I don't need to go for his pockets or anything like that. She's not always easy to get along with, but she's the best damn cop I know. I think he kind of fancies her a little bit. Did you find anything, Tyler? <sighs> For that, I'd have to be able to keep my eyes open. Keep up the good work, Tyler. Come on, let's go, Carla. I can't even keep my eyes open anymore. I want to take another look around. We haven't found the murder weapon. 
It might still be around here somewhere. Well, let's go back to Kavala then. Uh, that door's open. It stayed open. Let's get her. See if she can find her. Silverware to stab his victim? That would seem to indicate that the murder wasn't premeditated. Tyler, there's a knife hidden here. It might be the murder weapon. Get Garrett. Make sure he checks for prints and identifies the blood on the blade. Okay. Okay. Man, stab some dude in the toilets? You gotta be crazy. This guy took a big risk. Anybody could have walked in here and surprised him. Big risk. Yeah. Luckily I cleaned up and got the hell out of there. Tyler's been my partner for almost a year. He grew up with the gangs in the Bronx before he decided to join the force. Oh, man. Sometimes he's unpredictable, gangs. but he's a good guy. What a guy. Legend. You ready to go, Tyler? I think I've seen everything I need to see. Are you sure? We can take another look around if you want. No, we're good. Let's head home. Okay, let's bust. It's time let's to get, get back to the car. I'm dead tired. Yeah, Tyler's beast of a car. Hey, Garrett. Hey, Frank. How's it going? Hey, Carla. Hey, Carla. So, hey, Carla. You guys find anything? We took some samples here and there. We're almost finished. We were just waiting for you before we took the body away. Oh, I'm sure it's not the police that take the body away. Were they police? Let's get into Tyler's beast of a car. Ready and go to work. Yeah, that's the standard. Oh, my head. It feels like somebody shoved a steel bar in my brain and then melted it. Gotta make it stop. I got a headache. The sheets are full of blood. I can't go back to bed. I'm not tired anyway. This will hide the blood, in case anyone comes in the room. I'll huh? change the sheets later. Keep it secret, keep it safe. Some clothes on. My wrists are still bloody. Gotta do something about that. Yeah, let's go have a shower. Good to hear from you. I'm 
thought I'd call to find out if maybe you wanted to go to Mom and Dad's tomb together. And to be honest, I thought it might be a good excuse to get back in touch with you. Uh, I need to see you, Marcus. I'm in big trouble. What are you talking about, Lucas? What happened? I can't really talk about it on the telephone. It's serious, Marcus. I'll meet you in half an hour at the park. See you there. See you there. Yesterday, at 7.30 p.m. Lucas, it's... The keys to my apartment. I'll grab them when I'm ready to leave. Yesterday, at 7.30 p.m. Lucas, it's Tiffany. I thought maybe I'd pop over tomorrow night after I leave the hospital and pick up a few things. Well, call me back. Oh, it's getting old. 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 Just soaking wet. Massive cuts down my wrist. Massacre in East End Restaurant. An especially horrible murder was committed last night in the restroom of a local restaurant. machine in my bathroom. There's a parasite in as well. Police, please open the door. Hey, what's that? Stay where you are and put your hands in the air. These images in my head. I must be losing my mind.
clothes that I was wearing last night. They're covered in blood. I'd better not leave them there. Better not. Luckily, I spotted the washing machine. I'd already seen that. To be honest, it looks like. It. What happened last night? I'm not really in the mood to play the guitar. Funny that. Crazy crow! That crow from last night. Police, please open the door. It's police. They know. They, they've come to arrest me. Keep cool. Police, Maybe. open up. Yeah. Just a minute, I'm coming. I can't let them find any evidence linking me to last night. Oh, Are you oh. Lucas Kane? Yes. Mr. Kane, the neighbor has heard yelling from your apartment. Is there a problem? Yelling? No, there must be some mistake. I'm alone here, and I was sleeping. Would it be all right if I took a little look around your apartment? <sighs> Whatever. Go ahead. I'm actually a little bit nervous. What happened to your wrist, sir? Oh, it's nothing. Just a stupid accident. Holy cow. When you cut yourself, you go all the way, don't you? Yeah, yeah. Bye. Thank you for your cooperation. Uh, sorry to have bothered you, sir. You know how it is. With everything that's been going on, uh, we prefer to be careful. I understand. Long, Mr. Kane. No dramas. It's covered. When Marcus and I were kids, we were inseparable. He's the one who took care of me after our parents died. Oh, what we a kind guy. of grew apart after he became a priest. But he's still he's the only priest. person I really Some trust. Just him, like, just the only one who might believe that I had nothing to do with all this mess. I missed you. It's been a while. Two years. So tell me what's happened, Lucas. I've killed a man, Marcus. It happened in a restaurant last night. 
It's like I was possessed. Just with it. Yeah, it's around. Like trance, like I was a puppet on a string. I saw what I was doing, but I was powerless to stop it. My God. I can't believe this, Lucas. Tell me that it wasn't you. You're not capable of something like that. Fuck. This murder. Exactly how did it happen? Well, after work last night, I stopped at a little diner to get something to eat. I read a book at my table, I think. And after, it's just a black hole. I don't remember anything. Right up until I found myself in the toilets with a knife in my hand. It was, it was horrible. And there's this, too. You cut your wrists? Before the murder, I, I carved these symbols on my arms with a knife. Yeah. I don't know if they mean anything. Had you been drinking or taking drugs? You know that I don't do that, Marcus. Yeah, whatever. Who else have you told all of this to? No one. You're the only person that I can trust. While I was doing this horrible thing, I saw something, or, or rather someone. Was somebody else there with you? No, it was it was like a sort of vision. I saw a man saw in the, the middle of hundreds of candles. From Marvel. And and there was this little girl. The vision guy. You saw a little girl? She seemed alone, lost. She she asked me to help her. What happened to me, Marcus? What am I supposed to do now? You know me better than anyone, Marcus. Help me. Listen, Lucas, I I'm a bit lost here. This whole story is just so bizarre. It might be better. Maybe you should go and tell your story to the police, Lucas. <laughs> yes, Turn I'm yourself leaving. in Come before they down. find you. Do you really think the police are going to believe a story like that? They'll throw me in prison for the rest of my life, and I'll never find out what really happened. That's what's I am a priest, Lucas. The fact that you have taken a life is a very serious matter. Well, yeah. I told you that it wasn't me, Marcus. It convincing. Some All certain. these but years and nothing's changed. You still never listen to me. Lucas, don't ask me to make a choice between my faith and my brother. I'm not a murderer, Marcus. You're the only person I can trust. I'm just so. asking you to believe me. Very well. I'll do whatever I can for you, but I can't do anything that goes against my beliefs. No. Look, I, I need to get some answers. I'll, I'll call you. Here. You need this more than I do. Marcus, you know that I don't believe in all that. Oh, give me Thanks. A life. Everyone needs a cross. Cheers, cheers Marcus. May God be with you. And there's that crow again. It's a crow. The crow did that. Oh no, I'm afraid to. I'll go save that kid. That kid? He's gonna slip on the ice. I've gotta stop him. The cop in the restaurant. If I don't do something, the child will die. If I do do something, the cop will recognize me. What am I going to do? There he is. He's lost consciousness. Quick, I've got to go back up before I run out of air. Oh yeah, obviously I don't want to drown. It must be freezing.
three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Patrol 324, kid just fell into the water. Send an ambulance right away. Man, what courage. The kid would have died. That guy's a hero. He dove into freezing water to save the kid. The kid never would have made it out of there without him. The cop recognized me. We both knew it. It's hard to say why he didn't turn me in. Maybe he decided I was even. I had taken a life and given one back. Nothing really changed for me. I was still wanted for murder by the police. But when I left that park, I knew I could look myself in the mirror again without cringing. How bad would I have if I let that kid die? That would have been pretty freaking harsh. We'll leave him. See that kid. I've got this really bad habit for a cop. Once I start working on a case, I can't think about anything else. I'm exhausted. I haven't gotten a wink of sleep all night. Something's bothering me about this murder, but I just can't seem to put my finger on what it is. Hi, Carla. How you doing today? Hi, Doug. Not too bad. Is Tyler here yet? No, not that I know of. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> some mean moves. There's uh, our office. I can't run in here. Where? Hey, Carla. Can you tell your partner to pay me back that hundred bucks he owes me? I've been waiting six months for it now. <sighs> Can't help you out. there, Jeffrey. Talk to him about it. He's been avoiding me like the plague. Plus, you know, you're the only one he listens to. Catch you later, Jeffrey. Yeah, Jeffrey. Leave it out. Man. Hi, Carla. Hi, Garrett. Oh, wait, Carla. I got some results back on the tests we did for that restaurant murder. Great. As soon as Tyler gets here, we'll come and see you. Okay, I'll be at my desk all morning. Catch you later, bro. Catch you later, broski. Alright. Now, what do I do? Tyler hates it when anyone touches his stuff. Tyler still hasn't gotten rid of this basketball. Yes. Funny, I Police thought I'd station. been pretty clear. That was clear. I told him. Tyler is still not here. I'd better try to Tyler. get him ring. For God's sake, Tyler. Well, that is. That's crazy. Completely idiotic, but it helps me think. Oh, screwed up my yo yo. Let's try again. Once more, we feel it. Can't I do it?
Let's call Tyler up. Time to get his ass into work. Did it? Yeah. Know what time it is? Oh, shit. Get a move on. The waitress is coming this morning to flesh out the composite on the killer. I'm on my way. He is on his way. He needs to hurry up. My draw, oh, my draw files. Oh, hello. Bonus plus five, whatever that is. Found the giant card. Hi, Carla. I'm sorry I wasn't able to give you any news for a while. I've been very busy with my job. I'll drop by your place as soon as I can to tell you about my latest adventures. Lots of kisses, Tommy. Hello oh, there, Tommy. Okay. Valium. <laughs> Do you need some cheap Valium? Really? Do you not know who I am? It's all happened before all Kirsten. Kirsten. What's that supposed to mean? Who is Kirsten? Some good police in right now. File. So it's a name associated with a case. Hmm. Too bad. I would have liked to find out more. That'll help. Well. Water. Keep hydrated. That relieves my stress. Should I have another glass? Will it chill me out even more? The water sound is so genuine. It sounds just like real water, but no less stressful. Well, it looks like I can switch over to him, to Tyler's apartment. It's time for Tyler to get up, but I think on that note, I am going to say stop, and we can come back to this another time. We've been playing it for a nice little while, we've got a good insight into a, a bit of a murder, a bit of policing, the film's going well. I think I'm going to be a movie star. I can definitely see some awards coming for this. It's just obvious, really. But, thank you ever so much for watching, guys. If you liked this video, give me a like. If you didn't like this video, please don't give me a dislike. Just give me a like anyway. That would probably be the best thing to do, I'd imagine. But, thank you ever so much, guys, for your time and, and watching. And, uh, we'll see you soon for some more games with Mark. Later.